Hey everybody, I am back and I am using AI to make the real life human versions of the amazing digital circus characters. As long as they don't look like the human versions of the SpongeBob characters. And uh, it says right here that Pomni is 25 years old. So actually all I have to do is go over to this text box right here and type in a description of Pomni. So, so we're gonna do woman, 25 years old, short, dark brown hair, eye color, red and blue, wearing carnival jester costume with round puffy sleeves, very large jester cap with some gold bells on cap and outfit. Okay, so while the AI is working its magic and creating the human version, I'm quickly drawing out the character Pomni, and I want half of the picture of the character drawing and the other half the AI realistic, and we're gonna combine it together. Now, if you guys know the Amazing Digital Circus storyline, then you know that the characters, they've become trapped in this like circus digital world, and Pomni says the only thing that she can remember is putting on a headset. And the next thing she realizes is she's in this wacky weird world. Yeah, <laughs> watch out wearing that Apple Vision Pro there. Now we also find out that Ragatha, Jax, Gamble, Zubo, and Kinginger, they've actually experienced a very similar thing. They're in these digital bodies now and they can't return to the real world or to their real human bodies. However, with Kane, well, he's the exception, okay? He's, he's an AI and he's kind of running this whole circus spectacle. And I mean, the whole storyline revolves around AI. So it's actually quite fitting that I'm using AI for this video. Okay, I think it's ready. Uh, let's check it here. No way. What the? <laughs> wait, 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 how's this possible? Okay, here it is. I, I can't believe this. I, guys, I thought this would turn out like just kind of weird and wacky, but this actually looks like real life Pomni. Like I'm blown away right now. Uh, it's actually kind of freaking me out how good it is. I, I, it's the jester outfit. Like, okay, I, I know it's not like perfect. Like right away I'm noticing like it doesn't have the bells on the hat or the outfit. Her eyes are brown. They're not like, like red and blue, but I mean, those are small nitpicks. Okay, here it is combined with the drawings. We got half and half. And, oh my, okay. Uh, bro, okay, if AI Pomni is looking this good, what on earth are the other characters gonna look like? We got Kinger, and Kinger is 48 years old. That, that can really help us out. So we got Man, 48 years old, with blonde hair, round glasses, he got that nerdy look, wearing a purple bathrobe. I'm just saying bathrobe, I don't know what else to call it. Uh, and wearing white gloves and holding chess pieces. So with Kinginger, he's been in the digital circus the longest. And we don't even know how long, like perhaps it's been years or many, many years. That's why Kinginger is like just crazy and paranoid all the time, which, I, okay, it makes sense. If you're trapped in this digital world for years, you'd, you'd probably end up going insane too. In fact, he's probably on the edge of going abstract, just like so many other characters have gone. Another thing though that is interesting is that we find out that there used to be a character that resembled a chess queen. And this could be Kinginger's wife or perhaps someone he's related to. It's it's kind of a mystery. I mean, there's a lot that we don't know. And I, I assume that actually Kinginger has experienced or knows something that he's not letting on to others. Okay, here, here it is. This, <laughs> this legit looks like someone who could play the role of Kinginger. Okay, what's crazy at this AI, this is not like a real person here. It's not like you go onto Google Images and grab this picture. Like th this, this is someone that's been created. It, it looks like a photograph, but it's not. Probably this one is my favorite, even though he's not wearing the white gloves. But I I do like how he's holding up the chess pieces, so. And combined, it should line up with my drawing and, oh yeah. I, I guess it would help if he looked a little bit more paranoid, but maybe he's just holding it in. He's just holding it in for the picture. Now we got Gangle. Now it says right here that Gangle is 26 years old. So I'm typing out woman, 26 years old, wearing opera theater tragedy mask uh, while holding an opera theater comedy mask and wearing red ribbon long sleeve shirt. So of course, Gangle has a comedy mask and a tragedy mask. And well, unfortunately her comedy mask breaks like really easily. And therefore she got to wear the tragedy mask. Now what's interesting is that these masks are like vital to her overall being and emotions, which is pretty crazy. Like imagine if you had to either be super happy or super sad all the time, like with no middle ground. Uh, at that point, I, I would probably just wear the comedy mask, probably break the tragedy mask on purpose. That way I would never have to be sad again. But I mean, I don't know how that whole mask thing works, but it does make me wonder like if these emotions and these masks somehow relate back to Gangle in like her real life human version. Like what, what is Gangle like as a person? 
Like, has the digital circus just made her emotions like way more exaggerated? I, I don't know, but like, I feel like she's also really close to just losing her mind and becoming abstracted. Oh, okay. Well, three of them are not that good, but one of them is actually really well done. So, so here it is. So this one right here, it looks more like face paint, which uh, this is not gonna work. So then this one, uh, the, <sighs> This one made the mask like really small and it's showing her face. Nah, not definitely not that one. This one's better. It's more of like a theater mask. I I, I do like the, the shirt. It's like red and white striped. However, this picture, I think this is gonna work well because this one actually has the two masks, like one she's wearing, one she's holding. You see a lot more of the stripes. Wait, <laughs> what the? Oh wait, look at the mask she's holding in her hand. You see that? Oh, that's creepy. It got human eyes similar to the black eyes on the, the character mask. You know what, actually the mask that she's wearing is a little bit more happy. And if you look closely, that mask she's holding, it is like more sad. Now, Zubol, it says is 22 or 22 and a half years old. We are not given the gender. So, um, we're just gonna have the AI decide. We're just gonna type it in. Let's say 22 years old, hair color blue and pink, uh, funky cool glasses, some colorful headphones, a uh, very colorful tie-dye shirt, and uh, what else? Uh, I don't know. So Google, I'm, <laughs> I mean Zubal. Zubal is basically a bunch of toy pieces put together, which are sometimes falling off and getting out of place. And I, I know at one point Zubal gets split up and stolen by the Goinks, or I think that's how you say it, which would be really annoying, okay? If, if your body parts were just falling off and you were losing them, that would suck. I mean, it kind of reminds me of like Mr. Potato Head or something like that. Now, in terms of personality, Zubal um, gets really frustrated and can be kind of rude. Definitely someone who doesn't hold back on calling people out. But at the same time, Zubal, you know, like, Zubal does care for others and it's really part of the team. So, I don't know, it kind of depends how you look at it. Oh yeah, and Zubal definitely stands up to Jax and calls him out on things. We, we really don't know that much about Zubal. I mean, other than Zubal is one of the newest characters to arrive. Like, of course, besides Pomni. Oh my goodness, what's this gonna give us? Oh, this is interesting. Okay, this, so the four pictures here, they, they all look pretty similar to each other. Now, what I do like is that, you know, like similar to Zubal, the, the style and the colors like really stand out. And I think the glasses really fit the vibe. Like we got the headphones, those are kind of like extra parts or accessories. So out of these four pictures, well, probably this one's my favorite. Um, we even got the headphones with the little mic coming off. Is this gonna combine together? Oh yes, it will. Oh, actually, I also meant to say that um, the pink hair works really well. Since Zubal's face is pink, I do see some connection with that. I I'm gonna do it anyways. I'm doing the human version of Kane. Imagine it's like a movie, okay, real life movie. Now, we do have a big problem because because we do not know the age of Kane. How do you put an age on AI? But I'm just gonna say he's 35 years old. Okay, so we got man, 35 years old, handsome showman, uh, who's a magician, very large smile, showing lots of teeth and his gums, uh, wearing a pink suit, I think it's pink, with a black bow tie, black top hat, holding a black cane with a gold round ball attached. So Kane is the ringleader of the digital circus. He seems to be in control of everything and pretty much runs the whole circus operation. And I mean, I kind of thought he was evil at first, but now I'm actually not so sure about that. I mean, he's definitely mischievous. He like wants everyone to do exactly what he says, but mostly he just kind of acts like he's doing his job, like a job he was programmed to do, which is probably how an AI would act if it was in control. I I mean, he has eyes everywhere. He can fly freely around. He can teleport. He can control, control the environment around him. I mean, how on earth are you supposed to escape from a digital prison when the ringleader has so much power? On top of that, like, he seems pretty chaotic. I feel like even Kane, the AI, is like on the verge of going like completely crazy, which, I mean, Kane definitely is the most mysterious character. And, oh yeah, and then there's that whole Bubbles character, which is like Kane's pet or assistant or something. I mean, I guess this is the question, okay? Is Kane the main villain or is Kane just a puppet being used and forced to do a job for someone who is truly in control? Okay, I I'm kind of nervous about this one. This could be the creepy one. Okay. Uh, well, okay, for this first one, I don't know what happened with this one. It just kind of messed up. Uh, we're not using that one. Uh, this one, oh, okay. This definitely makes him look like a villain. Oh my goodness, look at that grin. Uh, okay, uh, this one. Oh man, okay, there's no way you could trust a guy like that. Like, it's actually kind of working. I think the problem is it's, it's just too zoomed in. Okay, now this last one, this is pretty good. He actually looks like a circus ringleader. Yeah, I, I think that I'm gonna go with this one. Kind of reminds me of the movie The Greatest Showman, right? Like, 
Well, I guess in this case, it's a little different. It's the craziest showman, but um, I mean, this combination makes sense. Uh, next, we got Ragatha. Now, it says that Ragatha is 30 years old. So we can go woman, 30 years old, like uh, red yarn-like hair that is braided, wearing blue old-fashioned dress with patches, and a blue bow in hair with blue button covering one eye. So I know a lot of people like Ragatha. And I mean, in terms of personality, she comes across as, what would you say, like a uh, happy, friendly, but there's something else. Like she seems to be covering up like a lot of grief. And, but maybe, hey, the fact that she tries to keep such a positive attitude is probably one of the reasons why she's lasted so long without going abstract. I mean, she's been in the digital circus probably the, the second longest. We don't really know how long that's been. And one of the things that stood out to me is that when she gets attacked and she gets that like glitchy effect, I, I thought that was the end of Ragatha. I just thought she was gonna die, but I, I mean, think about it, that'd be terrifying to start glitching out everywhere and can't do anything about it. But as we see later on, she does get fixed by Kane. But if you noticed, her hand is still glitchy, which is really interesting. Like there's definitely more to that storyline. Like the glitch effect, there's something we don't know. Now, what's sad is that all of these characters, they've probably been trying so many times to try to escape her find an exit, as they say. But Ragatha says at one point, like, don't chase, like, the, an unobtainable goal, is what she says. Like, if you keep chasing that, trying to find the exit, you're just gonna go crazy and bad things are gonna happen to you. And I guess that's why they just keep going on Kane's adventures, because, hey, like, what's the point of even finding an exit? Oh, here it is. Oh man, ah, I forgot to select multiple pictures. We, we just got one. The main details are correct. Like she's wearing an old fashioned dress. It even has like the lace on the end and like the, the patches, which is really good. She, she has the red curly hair. Like, okay, it's not exactly like the doll hair, but it does look a little bit more realistic, I would say. She is missing the button on her eye, but I think the AI kind of got confused on that. I, someone like this would definitely be a good choice to play for like the role of Ragatha in, in a movie. Uh, with Jax, you either love him or you hate him. I, regardless, I know a lot of you have been waiting for this. Jax is 22. Oh, so I think Jax is actually the youngest. Okay, so man, 22 years old, who's tall, uh, wearing pink overalls and a purple shirt, yellow gloves, uh, curly hair, <laughs> Uh, wearing bunny ears with a very large smile. Cook me up some Jax. Okay, so we all know that Jax is, um, he's a whole long list of things, but basically he's, he's mischievous, he's impulsive, and he's a jerk, but he's also kind of got this laid back, carefree vibe about him. I mean, you can say that the rest of the characters really don't like him, and that's definitely for a reason. Now, one thing right away is that if we look at how Jax is dressed, it, it kind of says that he may have grown up as like a country boy or like a farm boy when he was in his human form. That's That could be true. Now, what's interesting to me is that Jax, he doesn't seem to be going through all like the trauma and the sadness that, that the rest of the characters are going through. Of course, he gets annoyed with things and uh, well, actually, he's, he's probably the most mentally stable out of all of them, even if it's in a villainous way. But another thing I noticed is that he has access to everyone's room with keys. Like, where did he get the keys? And that right there tells me that Jax is probably pretty smart. He's probably figured out how to access other secret rooms throughout the digital circus, and he's using it to slowly figure out an escape plan. Okay, so I had the AI do a lot of pictures of Jax, so we should have a lot to pick from. Oh! Oh my gosh! He looks absolutely crazy! Oh my goodness! Okay, so first of all, wait, they put him at, they put a farm in the background. Wait, how do they know that? I didn't even type farm. Not, not that one. Um, bro, okay, I, I don't even know what to make of this. He doesn't look too crazy here, but uh wait, wait why does it say axe on his shirt? I uh, oh look at his fingers. They're turning into carrots. Oh man, are any of these good? Ah, uh, oh, bro, what? This doesn't make any sense. Look at his eyes! I think they got the villain part down. But I, I didn't even say villain, it's just, what are they doing? Okay, um, why are his ears going sideways? I, I, it doesn't look like a bunny anymore, it looks like a donkey. Uh, oh, it keeps getting worse! I, no, okay, it's not the werewolf, it's the were bunny. Oh, they, I'd be terrified if this. I woke up and this guy was standing above me. Okay, oh, bro, I think the AI's falling apart at this point. Okay, I finally found a good one. I do like his outfit. He got the yellow gloves. I do like the bunny ears. It's someone who could be mischievous or could be a jerk, but it's not just like super overly done. This right here could be Jax. This is the real life Jax. 
Um, I do wish he was wearing the pink overalls, but I mean, we can just imagine he is with a, a purple shirt underneath. And uh, hey, I, it, it works. So guys, go into the comments and tell me who your favorite Amazing Digital Circus character is. Okay, I, I need to know. It's a competition in the comments. I'm, I'm gonna add them up and see who's the most popular. And watch out. The AI is always watching. <laughs>